This video explains how to subset the columns of a pandas data frame in the Python programming language. So without much talk, let's dive into the Python code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to import the pandas library, as you can see in the first line of code. And then we also need to create a data frame, as you can see in the second code box using the data frame constructor. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame called data is created. And we are also printing this data frame using the print function below the code box. So after running these lines of code, you can see below the code box that we have created a data frame containing nine rows and five columns called x1, x2, x3, x4, and x5. Now let's assume that we want to keep only some of these columns in a new data set. Then we can apply the code that you can see in the third code box. So in this line of code, I'm subsetting our data frame based on the column names of our data frame columns. So in this case, I want to keep only the columns x1, x3, and x5. And I want to store this data frame subset in a new data frame called data subset. And then I'm also printing our data frame subset below the code box using the print function. So after running these lines of code, you can see that we have created a subset of data frame columns. And this time, our data frame subset contains only the columns x1, x3, and x5. So in other words, the columns x2 and x4 have been removed. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.